Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm going to rant about this from Bounty to Comics. Woke Mob Furious over Madam Web casting because the actress is in blind. Well, technically, they are also mad because she's actually not old. Hell, isn't it interesting how things work with these people? <sighs> After all, it's actually affecting something they care about. And now they're angry. I'm hot and fucking bothered. Hmm. Maybe, maybe if you idiots actually advocated with us that they should have actually respected the Lord and things like that. But you guys chose not to because it raised to up white characters and ginger side is a real thing. Only because my beard here is kind of dark red, and I'm half ginger, so that means I want my representation! <sighs> right! Oh, right, right, something important. Woke mob furious of- okay, you already read that garbage. According to multiple reports, Fifty Shades of Grey star Dakota Johnson is in talks to play Madame Webb in that upcoming film. Woke fans are furious at the news. Why? Because unlike Madame Webb character, Johnson isn't blind, or old, or ugly. First appearing in, in the, Ama the Amazing Spider-Man 210, Madame Webb is a blind, disabled, elderly woman with pre Precognitive abilities. <sighs> well, tell you the truth, that's that one's actually made. Uh, I don't think I ever read anything with her in the comic books, and I have some very old Spider-Man comics. So, <laughs> but apparently, the way she actually acts and does, albeit it, I assume it would be pretty difficult for the. Uh, for, for Hollywood to actually do it, because, well, a wheelchair or whatever blob she's sitting on, disabled, blind, and things like that, a bit difficult to do with uh, all of those things. <sighs> but still, where was I? I was going to make a point. Hey, I actually lost uh, the, my train of thought. Hey, it happens when you're retarded. Hey. I'm gonna be on. Hey, I'm good. Hey, I'm gonna be honest, honest here with you. I'm kind of retarded. Who wants to rent again? All oh, right. Ah, and now I remember my train of thought. Because of all of those things, uh, she acts pretty much as as if she had senses. It would be kind of difficult to do all of the things that she's going to do, and. Um, it will require a lot of use of stunt people. And now then if they cast actually a stunt person to actually go and do her stunts and things like that, they'll actually go on and cry, why isn't the stunt blind? Why isn't the stunt disabled? It's always something with this woke mob. And that's exactly what happened with Deadpool 2. Yes. They actually had to go and race swap Domino, which I was utterly against. I was really mad about it because the entire thing of Domino was because she had black hair and her skin is so white, so white that I actually think it was paper white. But anyway, she made her black with Vitiligo. Makes total sense. The Hollywood are definitely very racist, aren't they? Anyway, where was I? Right. So, with casting her as black, they they run into a tiny little issue. Her stunts. Turns out that not many black actresses or many black um that that many black stunt actresses around in Hollywood to the point that they actually had to go and find someone who could actually ride a bike at the speeds they required, and somewhat do the stunts that they needed. Well, that's great! 
I mean, really great, they found someone. Well, as it turns out, that she was a bit of a noob and was, and she did stuff that only very professional and very skilled actors and actresses could actually achieve. Guess what happened? Wokenism killed someone. Yes, she died on set. Wokenism costs lives. It costs our respect to the lore, to the product, to the IP, to the history and things like that. Because of morons like these idiots here are complaining about. Let's go and take a, a look at this a moron over here. I mean, I have to wonder if this guy is even capable of tying his shoes in the morning or if he knows what type of hole that shit comes out. Yes, dude, it's not on your ears or mouth. It should be coming out of your phone on bungle. Even though right now, shit is coming out of your fingertips. No love for own actresses anymore. The young down on me. And while I know there are younger versions of this character, it takes away opportunities for older women. In the acting business, Carrie Fisher had to deal with this before Star Wars Seiko Trilogy. Ah, fuck me. These people are insane. These people really ruin everything. Remember. Every time these idiots try to pull an idiotic, nonsensical bullshit like this, just remind them of what their ideology has led to. To death on set. Remember them of that. Uh, not to mention the fact that Madame Wanda's blind, at least in the older adaptation, don't know if she's blind in the younger adaptations, and this takes away the blind actor role in this film too. Uh, and, uh, disabled actresses exist! Madam Webb is a canonically blind character, when my thingy rivals disabled mimicry is so annoying! <laughs> and before the comic book dweebs get your knees in a twist, yes I know the Julian Carpenter version! This costume most likely means you introduce the OG Cassandra Webb combined with the elements of Julia, so it will be so it's still disabled, it ain't sure. <laughs> well, now we go on and show it to you that it, the being blind is kind of just a gimmick, kind of like in Daredevil with uh, Charlie Cox, I think that's his the actor name. He's not actually real life blind. But he actually had superpowers, as in he could actually see sonically, you know, using sounds. But uh, obviously, in this case, it was as if he had eyes, and there are stunts that he actually had to do it himself because of his face, not with stunt actor. Now imagine if you actually had to cast a blind, disabled actress to do the stunts that this one will actually need. Anyway, here is what she says, which indicates that casting someone who is disabled may actually be a bit problematic. Why? Let me read what she says. <gasps> no. <clears throat> uh, this blind eye is can see beyond normal sight. In short, I'm clairvoyant, a soothsayer, a psychic, a way. Eh, if you will. But I'm, uh, I'm able <clears throat> to not uh, there's powers in others. Well, see? <sighs> see? She actually pretty much being blind in a comic here is kind of just a gimmick to show her powers because she acts and does things as if she had the full senses. Oh, fucking hell. Anyway, let's see what it says in this comic here. Uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> uh, and for what I'm going to do next in my final sin, for the good of the web. Uh, what? Uh, and someone has to see with fresh eyes. Oh my god. So, basically, nah. <sighs> Look at this one. 
it's Madame Webby's older and the Dakota Johnson is not. Angelism is in full effect here. Angelism in Hollywood is a real problem. The role should have been offered and given to the older actress. Well, we live in a woke world. You advocated for this. You advocated everything of this on Hollywood when you actually made a blind eye or you just ignore the actual race swaps, gender swaps, uh, diversity washing, and etc. Woke washing, let's call it. Now, now that it is happening, and you're all against it. Hey, it's just a role. Any actor can play anything. It's just a paper, it's just a fictional character. Why are you mad about it? Well, there you go. You advocated for it. Now, reap what you have sown, you fucking imbecile twat waffles. Go suck a cock and choke on it. Anyway, allegedly. On Minecraft. Allegedly again. And all of this on Minecraft. Anyway. On that goddamn fucking hell, have a great your fucking night. Because I, I sure am. Because I'm gonna laugh my ass off with these people.